Welcome, welcome to another entry in Ramjet Week. This is the creatively named, or not, Jet from the iGear Conair uh, Raptor Squadron. And uh, this guy was sold in a three pack with the other two cone heads, and I did not want to spend that much money, so I waited until I was able to pick him up loose on eBay, I think, or maybe on TFW. I'm not sure. Um, but here he is in bot mode, and first thing I want to point out is that he he follows a lot of the design cues of of uh, classics ramjet, where he's got the the wing splits up into two parts and flips upside down and stores on his back. And my hand's probably in green there. Uh, the the lower wing folds back. Um, yeah. Anyway, he he's a pretty good looking uh, thing. Robot mode. Um, these are not from him. I don't remember which ones these are, where I got them. I have a couple of... Megatron and Shockwave gun modes that I like to give to my Ramjets to wield. Um, is it light enough? I feel like... Oh, hopefully it's not washed out. Uh, this is a pretty poseable robot. Um, these can fold back more so they're out of the way. Uh, I just kind of like them being a little bit visible so you get some of this maroon color showing there. These don't <clears throat> have to fold that back that far, but whatever you want them at. Get my hands out of the light. Yeah, there we go. It's going to be... Someday I need to figure out how this lighting works because the white is just always overexposed. But I can't see any of the color. Um, he's posable. He's got bicep swivels, um, uh, whatever you call this joint, so the shoulder can move forward. I don't remember what this is. Oh, this is um, so you can mount the missiles or whatever on it. Uh, but it actually swivels on both sides of that joint. The shoulder goes up with a heavy click. Ugh, got double jointed elbows. This is kind of annoying, but don't focus on the robot, not on my hand, please. Um, but it's really alright. He's got a ball jointed hand that I kind of don't like. Oh, because it's not ball jointed, it's like hinged downward. It is a ball. But I find that it likes to droop a little bit. So when he's holding somebody like Shockwave, He, uh, he often kind of, I don't know, he gets tired, I guess, of holding it straight up. Um, <clears throat> the legs have outward and a thigh swivel and a knee joint and maybe it's double jointed. I can't remember. It's hard to see back in there. I think it is. I don't know if I can move it, though. Yeah, it kind of moves back there, too. His foot is pretty large and I mean his toe can twil t swivel tilt but the rest of it is just this giant boot so you can't really get too much ankle tilt out of it. Um, I believe he has a waist swivel and his head's on a nice ball joint so he can move around and look around everywhere and look way up. Um, you may have noticed this just popped right off because it's just a straight peg that it slides onto. So not a big deal. Maybe a little annoying if it popped up a lot, but I haven't played with it enough to know if that's really a problem. So he's actually, he's really posable and I like that, although I do find maybe it's a little tricky to get him into a pose that looks natural. Maybe I just don't try hard enough or I'm not very good at it. Um, Accessory-wise, he comes with a thing that I dropped. Let's see if I can focus in on his face. He comes with a head. A grumpy face. Or also a smirking face. You just rip the whole face off and stick this back on over the, uh, over the place of it. I don't care for the smirk a whole lot. I, I like... Not that I know these characters from the cartoons, but I like Ramjet to be a little more grumpy or serious at least. 
It's clearly a stylized figure. The uh, chest design, for example, is not it's not especially G1. It's got you know, it's got influences, the cockpit and the turbines and the big things, but it's clearly stylized. And, I don't know, I appreciate that. Uh, the, this is based on iGear's, oh shoot, what did they call it? Starburst, I think? It was a Starscream mold. This is a Raptor F-22. Um, they did do big G1, um, G1 designs, masterpiece scale of the F-15. I always wanted to get Ramjet, but for whatever reason, when those first came out, I got Elegy, which was Dirge. And then I was never able to afford Ramjet. And I sold Dirge, and I never did buy Ramjet. And I've always meant to, but this one came along at an affordable price. Uh, so I picked up him instead. And, okay, he's got his nose cone on the back. It's kind of a big backpack, but it's not terrible. I, I do wish this was a little more snug. This was, I had some more snug, so it doesn't wobble around as much. He also comes with two little bombs there that are, I believe, 5mm pegs, so if you wanted, you could have them holding it. Or you can clip them into this little dealie on his bicep. Maybe. Yeah, it's really tight. But of course, that's not what you want to do with those, because those don't look anything like the null rays. So you pull the bigger ones off. And I like the design of these. The sculpt is really nice. It's got some nice silver paint apps on it. I don't know how to hold things so it can be visible. Um, and it is pointy. It is very sharp. It is not child safe at all. It's a very hard plastic and it's a very pokey thing. But again, he uh, might be able to hold it like a gun. Or you can stick it on his... Uh, Arm thingies. There. The peg does not seem really long, and these seem really tight, and so it's not going in super well. Since I have these in scale Megatron and Shockwave guns, I always like to give Ramjet a little Megatron gun and let him keep his uh, rockets on on his wings. There. Like that. Super bright exposed white and not nearly exposed enough maroon. But anyway, so I like this guy. He's pretty cool. And I feel like I got him for a reasonable price. Don't remember what it was. It's been a couple years now. Um, and I will be back if I can transform him into jet mode. Alright, here we have um, Conair Jet in jet mode. And here it is next to Classics, or NK Ramjet. Again, it's got the funny shaped wings that were characteristic of the G1 figure. It's got really, really dinky, um, the vertical wings on the engines. I do wish they were taller, but this is a pretty sleek jet mode, so it, it uh, I can understand why they went with short ones. Um, I guess this is supposedly based off of the F-22 Raptor, but since it's Ramjet, it's got a very distinct wing shape. I like that. Again, the white fuselage with the black nose for ramming. I do like... <clears throat> this is sort of clean and sort of messy down here. I mean, this part opens so that you can move stuff around and then it recloses and doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, this does have a lot of transformation like the G1 figure where the, the arms are stored here and they flip out and push the nose, fold the nose and push it through the back. It's very, very similar to the G1 toy, although a lot more complicated and really fiddly, um, especially with this arm section. I had a hell of a time getting them lined up right so they could go side by side and everything clip in. They do clip in and 
the nose slides out and then <clears throat> to give room for the folding of the arms in and then it slides back in and plugs into them so it holds in pretty steady uh, these well, it is just dark I cannot figure out the lighting here what do I do with this these bits that ended up on his back um, I took them off for the transformation just because they were on the straight peg and I thought it might be easier but then if you do that the whole waist swivel just flops around um, swivels around these two little plastic bits are the only thing that's holding the bottom half to the front half or top half um, via a peg in there and a peg here and a tiny little peg there but if you take it off the 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 legs do not peg into the chest at all. Um, anyway, this is an interesting looking jet mode. I am not crazy about it. I do prefer the modified F-15 look of Igear's first jet. Um, you know, matching more the G1 ship, G1 figure. But it's kind of a cool looking thing I just I do prefer the bot mode on this and it really was fiddly it was hard to get the legs to slide in I'm not entirely sure everything is slid together and locked together and pegged together quite properly you just feel like there's little gaps here and there which makes me feel like I didn't get everything together right or maybe there's just slightly sloppy tolerances I'm not sure um, it does have a little landing gear stored here in the uh, upper, or in the, the shins, and one here in the nose cone, which I should not have closed because I found it really hard to get a grab on, but it's got landing gear. <clears throat> Again, the missiles and the bombs can swap places. This just unplugs in, doesn't it? Um, the head kind of sticks in here. I'm not sure I have it in the right place. I don't know if it was supposed to be folded that way or the other way. Or if I have the hands in the right place. Probably can't see in there anyway. Anyway, I did this without instructions, which I think I've only transformed it once before. So at least it's doable. It's pretty... I don't know, you can figure out where everything goes and how it goes, but I just I don't feel like everything is in quite the right spot. So maybe there was a trick that's hidden in the instructions that I didn't look at, but anyway, there's my Ramjet for today. iGear Conair Jet. Um, I do like him, I do recommend him, I don't remember how much I paid for him. Hopefully nothing more than a third of what the three pack cost, because I only got the one figure. Uh, Elegy Dirge did look good, I did always kind of dig the gold wings and the different design they have, but Ramjet has definitely always been my favorite of the these things, cone heads. So, thanks for watching, and tomorrow will be the final review of Ramjet Week with my most recent Ramjet purchase. It's I don't know, only a couple months old, maybe six months at this point. Time passes pretty quick, but uh, I will review that one tomorrow. Thanks for watching.